गाइज वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन एंड वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो फॉर टूडेज वीडियो आई हैव टेस्टेड आउट अ फ्यू न्यू लॉन्चेज एंड ऑल्सो शेयर माई थॉट्स अबाउट दैम न नॉट ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स आर लाइक ब्रांड्स पैकिंग न्यू सम ऑफ दम मे हैव लॉन्च अ वाइल्ड बैक बट इट इज न्यू फॉर मी एंड सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स आर माई यूजल गो टू प्रोडक्ट्स ना फॉर फाउंडेशन शेड रेफरेंस एम एन सी फोर्टी इन मैक एंड इन मे ब्लीन आई एम थ्री टेन सन बेज सो इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी दैन डो नॉट फिर सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड द बेल आई कैन राइट नेक्स्ट टू सर्टिफाइड वेन एवर आई अपलोड एंड नाउ लेट्स जम्प डेट इन दीडियो So the first product is the Essence Electric Glow Color Changing Lipstick. Now, even though it looks really pink with a lot of glitters, I really like this one because it gave a very nice natural color to my lips, and the glitter did not show up, and it was not gritty during application as well, and also it was pretty moisturizing on my lips. Next up is the Makeup Revolution's Bright Light Primer. Now this is an illuminator, and it does come with a pump. However, the weird thing is it does not have the tube. or the pipe inside so yeah that is kind of odd but apparently that's how it is designed now this is such a lovely illuminator as you guys can see it gives a very nice glow to the skin at the same time it does not have any chunky glitter particles or anything of that sort it's very thin shimmer particles and i just took like one pump at the back of my hand and i used like a foundation brush to apply it all over my face Now formula wise it is very thin like a gel moisturizer and it gets absorbed pretty quickly as well however if you have textured and large pores on your skin like mine i would highly suggest using like a pore minimizing primer before you apply this now this illuminator does look golden in the packaging but then once you blend it it has this pearly silvery sort of shimmer particles in it so yeah i finished applying it on the other side as well and it does not feel sticky or tacky which i like For concealer, I'm gonna go with my usual, which is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Taffy. Now I'm just going to use it on my under eyes and in certain places wherever there is hyperpigmentation, like on my nose as well as on my cheek. I have some blemishes, so I'm just gonna use this concealer only in these places alone. For setting powder, I'm going to be using is the Rimmel Stay Matte powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Now, first, I'm setting under my eyes, and whatever is left over on my powder puff, I'm just setting all over my face. Now, I did not want to use like a foundation because I want to see how well the illuminator kind of lasts on my oily skin. And this is how it looks like after just using the setting powder. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Makeup Revolutions Mousse Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Champagne. Now, it has champagne color base with silvery shimmer part. Particles. However, once it's blended, the champagne color is not visible. This is taken from my phone camera in indoor lighting, and this is in natural lighting. Now the formula for this is very moussey, creamy, and smooth. It blends pretty easily, and it is that one and done sort of an eyeshadow which I really do like. However, this is the kind of formula where you will have to set your eyelids with a concealer, or else it will crease. Like by the time I finished my makeup. there was a crease line so yeah oh and also this blends better using your finger rather than a brush like you can use like a brush to map it but then for blending the fingers work the best for eyeliner i'm going to go with the nyx epic ink liner now this is not new by any means it's the second time that i have bought this and i got it during the sale Now for lashes I have two new products to test out. The first one is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. So I have used it only on one of my eyelashes just to see the difference on how it will look. So this is like a primer before applying your mascara which promises to give more volume to your lashes. And for the mascara we have again from Essence which is the another volume mascara. Now this has a very questionable packaging. and this is how the wand looks like now during the application my worst nightmare came true where i stabbed my eyeball with the mascara wand but it was not too bad and i continued on the lash primer side was completely dried so i used the mascara on that side as well for my thoughts on the mascara on its own is that it is like an okayish product like it gave a decent volume there was no clumping it made my eyelashes separate with a bit of lengthening as well so it did what it claims but i do not find this to be like oh my god you need to have this kind of a product it was good now for the lash primer again it was okayish because honestly i could not see a lot of difference on either of the sides so maybe i will try with another mascara just to see how it looks or if there's any difference but for the price it's okayish 
for blush i have is the makeup revolution mousse blush now this is in the shade blossom which is a very lovely rosy pink shade and this is how it looks like in indoor lighting on my phone camera and this is how it looks like in natural lighting formula wise it is very moussey and whipped at the same time it was creamy and easily blendable and buildable as well now it seems like a cream to a powder sort of a formula and i really love how velvety soft the color look like on my oily skin i feel i should have added a bit more because after three hours the color sort of faded and also if i had used like a foundation which would have been like a base makeup then it may have lasted a lot more longer now i do like the formula but longevity wise i need to test this out more next up is the bubble balm highlighter from makeup revolution now i remember when huda beauty came out with an eyeshadow shade in the bubble form in their naughty nude palette a lot of people freaked out mainly because it was prime covid time now coming to this highlighter there is actually two shades in it one is a pale gold bubble which gives a pale gold color wherein the other one is the silvery bubble which obviously gives that silvery glow now both combined it gives more like a pearly silvery tone to it now this is more like a blinding highlighter however i personally don't like this is because i have a lot of texture especially on my cheek area and on my nose as well so the glitter particles kind of cling on to it so i would rather use this as an eyeshadow topper maybe or as an inner corner highlighter like how i have done in today's video so yeah but not as an actual highlighter finally for the lips i removed the color changing lipstick and for lip liner i'm using is the inside cosmetics glide on lip liner in the shade 09 brownie point now this is a retractable type of a lip liner and this is such a pretty shade now to go with it i'm using the nyx butter gloss and this is in the shade ginger snap which is a beautiful mauvey brown color this shade is apparently a dupe of the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Hot Chocolate. Now, I do not own that shade to compare it, but I have seen enough reels to be convinced that it is. And this is how both the shades look like in indoor and natural lighting. So, this is how the overall makeup looked like and I really did like the outcome of it. And by the time I finished, the time was about 1.07 p.m. The time is close to 4 p.m. and this is how my makeup looks like. Now, I had to blot my face once in between. But yeah, this is how everything looks like, which I really do like. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and right next to Spotify whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests I will try myself for you as well as follow me on my socials which are on Instagram and which are on Twitter as well so until then take care bye